So the bacteria called Bordetella pertussis is the medical name for whooping cough, which is what people in the community know, and the name whooping cough um, comes from if you have a chronic cough and then a classic hoop, that's where the, the name comes from. The infection is particularly severe in young infants, so they won't always present with this hoop. They'll sometimes present with a uh, respiratory-like illness and some breath-holding uh, episodes. Older children may present with a bit more of a chronic cough um, and sometimes some complications of, of being unwell with the, with the chest, in, uh, chest infection. Immunisation is so important because it's the only way to prevent um, whooping cough. Whooping cough is an illness that circulates around the community. Often in adults it's just a bit of a chronic cough, they don't know they've got whooping cough. When small babies get whooping cough they may, at times I mentioned, have breath holding and uh, if they're a little bit older have a classic hoop which is where the name whooping cough comes from and by immunising them at the age of six weeks, four months and six months we know we can give them some protection from getting more severe whooping cough. There's also a booster dose given at three and a half years of age, so if you've got any children who are that age, they need to also be immunised. There's also a booster that is administered at high school, normally in year 10, and again, it's really important that adolescents get that year 10 booster to minimise the chance of them getting whooping cough, but also passing it on to small, vulnerable babies. So the routine immunisation can be administered through your local GP or council, as per the other routine immunisations on the, the schedule. Um, if you're in the hospital, the immunisation can be administered at our RCH Immunisation Drop-In Centre, which is a nurse-led centre with excellent expertise in administering the immunisation. The school age vaccine in Year 10 is given in the school program, so there should be some information coming through the school. Adults can also get a booster, which you're meant to get every, about every 10 years to get a booster dose. Uh, at the moment, that's not a vaccine that's fully funded by the government, but certainly that can be purchased through your GP or can be administered here um, at our RCH Immunisation Drop-In Centre.